At Michael Jammin, have you ever asked not to be credited or change your name on a project because you know it's not very good but need the money? Thanks, Afan. All right, Afan, I'll answer that. No, I've never done that, although in fairness, you know, my credits are pretty good, he said, patting himself on the back lovingly, almost sexually. But to do something like that is kind of drastic because you're, selling, you're telling the boss, the person who hired you, yeah, I want nothing to do with this. That's, that, you're definitely burning a bridge. You're making an enemy to do that. And you're basically saying, you know, I did this for the money. I'm a whore. And look, we are all whores, but let's just, let's just leave it unsaid, don't you think? So why would you do something like that? I don't know any writers who have done that, but then again, I haven't asked and I haven't looked at their credits and matched it up to what they say. Like, I, I don't bother doing that. I only know one person who's done that. And it's a young woman who I met recently and she was a very successful indie film writer. And then I guess her agent got her on a TV show and you know, talking to her, it sounds like it was a kind of a toxic environment, although I only heard her side of the story, but it didn't sound like a pleasant experience. And so she fought to get her name off of it. And all right, you're basically saying, you know, screw you guys. Uh, and maybe she felt comfortable doing that because she could always go back to indie films. Um, but I can't imagine she made an ally of that person that she, you know, had her name from that showrunner. So also, I don't even see the point in doing that because, you know, if you have a great credit, that looks good on you. But if you have a bad credit, everyone in Hollywood knows, you know, that's the that's just the way it is. Sometimes you got to take a job for the money. It's it's understandable. And also, you know, that writer is not entirely responsible for the whole tone of the show. It really falls mostly on the showrunner's shoulders. And you're not going to argue with the showrunner. You're going to do what you're told if you want to keep your job. So it's not really, it doesn't really reflect badly on you if you have a bad credit. I think it's kind of a wash. It's neither here nor there. People look at the credit. So like this woman, she, she didn't want to be associated with this show that I had never heard of. And it's like, you know, why are you taking your name off it? I haven't heard of it anyway. Never will. It's just some tiny, you know, small show. So it's kind of unnecessary to do that anyway, I, I feel. But I think other writers could easily feel differently than I do. And it doesn't make them right or wrong. It's just, this is just an opinion. So I don't do it though. Thank you for the question, Afan. For more, keep following me. I'm Michael Jamin Writer.